All right, here, here's a really good one. Marquise Goodwin and Debo Samuel, 49ers wide receivers, are both massive stashes for me. We're talking Tom Selleck level stashes. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. E- yeah. Debo's in that list now. Debo. 100% in that okay. list. Okay. Week one, I want to see. I want to see what happens week one with that wide receiver core. Kyle Shanahan has said, uh, you know, Jalen Hurd's not playing week one. Jalen Hurd is out. Marquise Goodwin, Debo Samuel, Dante Pettis. Let's let it shake out on the field week one. I don't want to be chasing Debo on the waiver wire when he catches eight passes and is the, you know, steps in. Trent Taylor's out too. So you you just get to see it in week one and then move on. I'm a big stash on both. I am a very big stash on Marquise Goodwin. Yes, I know. I am. Not a stash on Debo Samuel. I don't. I. I, I like that. The will talent. be a mustache of yours. Mm. No. No. Oh, you're gonna get no. the card. You could get a three on that one. Um, seemed like you got a three because that was already out. That's correct. That th- this is just I grabbed this to give a three. That's the only purpose. You grabbed his scorecard and, and you gave me a three. That's fair. It's that's the best I could have hoped for. Look, Goodwin is second year in the system. He's currently healthy. He's the fastest man alive or close to it definitely the fastest man in the nfl definitely, um, definitely not the second year in the system he, oh with he's been there for three years yeah well i okay multiple years in the system but with garoppolo coming in i'm just saying i felt like you were about to say no no i'm still right yeah. even though i said two oh well, look stick to it. fellas i must ask you a question <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, i'm getting the cards out oh i loved that one there we go you're getting a solid eight thank you uh, <laughs> are you interested in a player who, when Jimmy Garoppolo started his career for San Francisco, had three straight games of 100 yards? I mean, I'm and that was Marquise Goodwin, who earlier in the offseason, no, I was not interested because it sounded like Goodwin was going to get cut. He has a massive injury history, so which that exists. The injury risk for Goodwin is is still 100% there. But the this fall of Dante Pettis – has been a huge benefit for for Marquise Goodwin, who is a locked in Week One starter for this team. So I want to I'm going to stash and see what I got uh, for Goodwin. Yeah, not Debo though. I, I am all about Debo Samuel. You guys are both going to regret it in Week One. Maybe Look, he's going. Maybe the, he's the he's the polar opposite vibes of Dante Pettis in that offense, who's and being constantly asked to do more. I don't think that the that you're wrong on there's a, there's a chance that it happens. I just have one or two spots where I can actually stash players. Sure. And so sure. I don't I'm not I don't want to stash a rookie wide receiver who Basically. might be the starter. We're and this not, is the yeah, context that yet. Brooks wanted us to have right. is that you have different decisions to make. You don't get to stash all these players. You have to make, you know, so, so stash look, decisions, you know, Debo or John Brown, he probably stashing John Brown in that situation. Yeah, right. so I want to ask the question here between Debo and Marquise Goodwin. If you, you, you've you got one spot to stash, they're both on your waivers, you're listening to this show, That's a who great would question. you rather stash there? I think, man. Wow, you're even considering Debo. Yeah, to me it's – That's wild, man. It's Debo that, is being drafted ahead of him. Not that that validates my point if I pick Debo here. But I like, I like upside, and I think Goodwin offers you – we've seen him. He's a big play guy. He gets injured a ton. Debo Samuel, I think, could establish himself as the the he favorite could. target of Garoppolo. So I think I'd Debo like is good. He's yes. he's very good. He's very good, and he does everything uh, Kyle Shanahan wants him to do. I think he could have a more integral role that's more valuable for fantasy. Goodwin fits into the D. Jackson, John Brown category of on again, off again. Not going to be a high volume guy. If what? you believe in Pettis, I do. I was going to say when it's all said and done, this is irrelevant because Pettis is going to be the clear number one. Get Zooks. You made it to the end of the video. Congratulations. If you want to see more, click that subscribe button.